Ladles and Jelly Spoons, welcome back to Badger Works. Today, yeah, uh, this. <laughs> uh, yes, this is, uh, the, the, the keen-eyed among you will recognise this. Uh, this is the book nook thing that I built with Bunny Kitten in the live stream last week. So, um, and uh, as you may recall, the lights didn't work. So, we're going to take a look at that today. So, let's get on with it. Oh, so yes, this is uh, this is the the beastie. Um, as I say, it's a book nook. So the idea is you you put it on a you know bookshelf in between the books, and it just creates a bit of interest. Uh, it's a nice little bit of kit actually. People have been making these things for years, and there are some actually beautiful examples out there. And um, so basically, what's happened is various companies have got on board with this, and now make these kits that you can build yourself at home. Uh, this one is the uh, imaginatively titled European Town, which uh, appears to be overrun with cats, <laughs> which is something. Um, my daughter will like that. Uh, so, yes, the lights don't work. Uh, I have my suspicions. So you've basically got, and you can see there are three LEDs up there in the top. And in the back here is a switch... Um, that you switch it's it's not very you know and then uh, that's like the main power switch and then there's a switch on the front here to turn it on and off and when we built the thing we put it together uh, it worked once and then it didn't work again so I have my suspicions uh, let me get the other camera in so you can see what I'm doing and we'll we'll start to investigate this thing Right, so, as I said, there is this flap in the back here. Um, stop laughing at the back. And inside there, oh, God, hang on. This is an awkward thing to get open. There we go. So inside here is this, this battery box. And I suspect that this is the problem. Um, if you were watching the live stream, you'll know that this thing actually fell apart while we were putting the, the thing together. So um, I suspect this is the issue. But what we're going to do is I'm going to pop the, the bottom off so that I can get to the... There's a, hang on. <laughs> right, hang on. Let me just turn this around for a second. Let's take this front panel off. So there's a circuit board here with a switch. Uh, a toggle switch and I can't get to the back of that at the moment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, the bottom off and um, so I can get to that and then what we can do is we can put a test meter on this and see if this works I mean it might not be this it could be the switch it could be the lights it could be anything but I suspect it's probably this so let me just pop this bottom off I'm not going to tell you again and uh, we'll see what we can find oh dear it's all very oh that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be <laughs> right let's put that to one side um, Yes, so basically what we've got is this is plugged in here. Uh, and then there is a, it's, it's quite a complicated little setup actually. Um, I'm quite impressed with it. Um, but yeah, I think this is the problem. So what I want to do is unplug this. And uh, we'll put this to one side for a second. Ah pop that over there and we will get a suitable test device right let's turn this on 12 volts should be more than sufficient and let's see if we can see what this thing's doing all right this is going to be exciting um right so oh dear <laughs> just talk amongst yourselves for a minute right 
let's pop that there. Oh, or not. This is going to be fun. Oh. Right. So, there's nothing there. Sorry, I, I'm doing this all cack handed. Oh. Talk about yourselves for a minute. Right, that goes like that. That goes like oh, good grief! Yeah, see, there's nothing. It's that battery box that's the problem. So. What I think I'm going to do, because if you were watching the live stream, what actually happened was um, the switch basically fell out of the of the box out of here. Um, so, yeah. Let's get rid of those for a minute. Brand new batteries. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these wires off down here uh, so we can keep this because we need this plug to go on the other end of it. And then um, what we'll do is uh, come up with something more suitable. So let me cut these off and get some bits and pieces and we'll go from there. Right, so I've just uh, cut the wires off there. And what I've got here is a 13300 lithium polymer battery. It's 3.7 volts, uh, 360 milliamp. Uh, this came out of a certain device, which will remain nameless, because apparently if you mention the V word, you get demonetized. So, but if you've watched the video on TikTok, you know where these came from. Anyway, uh, so what we're going to do is I'm going to basically pop this on here. Oh, you go on there. And if we touch the positive, the lights come on. So that just proves that it was the battery box that was the problem. Um, so that's fine. What we need to do now is figure out how to make this fit in here. So I have a plan. <laughs> it's a cunning one. So cunning you could brush your teeth with it, as a wise man once said. Um, so... Uh, See, the other problem that we've got, actually, while we're on the subject, is this bit here is supposed to go into that little slot there, and it doesn't. It's just rattling around. So that needs to be put in place as well. So, But what I've got here is a charging board. You've seen me use these before. And I have a switch, just a rocker switch. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little panel off here, and we'll mount everything onto this panel, and then pop it back in. And that should make life a little bit easier. So let me get that off and uh, we'll go from there. Right, so I've just popped the back off because uh, just to sort this out. Because um, that just goes into that slot there, but it's, it, there's nothing to, to hold it. So I think I'm going to put a little drop of glue on that just to hold it in place, just so it doesn't fall out again. Right, so to put it back in, I'm going to use this. Um, this is actually uh, Bunny Kitten bought this. <laughs> she built another one of these um, while she was over um, and she needed some glue so we went and bought this so it's not a sponsor or anything but I thought this was a really good idea because it's a brush and nozzle so if you unscrew the top part here you have a nozzle but if you unscrew the whole cap like that it has a brush which I thought was absolutely genius so, what a good idea. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'll just pop that back out again. See, you can see it's barely held in. So, and I'm going to put a bit of glue with the brush. Oh, that's gloopy. That's probably way, way too much. But it will do. 
and then we'll pop that back in there like that and then that can be drying away to itself while we uh, get the rest of it sorted out so right so while we're waiting for that glue to dry we can carry on with this so yes this is the the panel off the back and i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to open up this panel this this slot here because uh, it's it's nearly wide enough just not quite so i'll just open this up a little bit so that this will just slide in there um and we'll use that as the power switch and then we've got to figure out how to mount this because i think what i think i'm going to do with this i'm going to put it something like that um so that basically you can lift this up and plug a cable in to charge it because it won't fit in like that there's not enough space behind it so i'll do it i'll put it flat on there like that and then you can just lift it up and plug a cable in i think that will work the best so okay let's get a soldering iron in, i suppose right so the first thing i want to do is open up this slot so i think what i'm going to do is just put that roughly in the right place like that and i'll just draw a line down each side with a pencil and that shows us how much we need to remove and i think to do this i will use a rotary tool of some kind this one might be sufficient we'll try this one this this is great if you don't have one of these if you do modeling and stuff these are really useful because it's basically a pen sized rotary drive they're not they're not terribly powerful but they're really handy for little things like this so This is probably setting everyone's teeth on edge, so I'll carve this out and then we'll see what it looks like. <laughs> right, so there we go. So I roughed it out with this and then I cleaned it out with a file just to straighten up the edges. And that now is a nice snug fit in there. So that will do for that. So we can just pop that in like that. And that's nice and secure that's not going anywhere so that will be our switch and uh, so now we need to do the rest of it so i think what we're going to do you see ideally i'd put the the switch on the battery wire but the trouble is if you do that then it means you have to have the the thing switched on to charge the battery but I'm not entirely sure these wires are going to be long enough. <laughs> uh, it should be all right. Right. Yeah, I think that'll work. Uh, now, how are we going to do this? So we need to take the positive from the plug and run it to the switch. And then we need a positive from the switch to the positive out on the battery charger. Uh, then the negative on this can go straight to that. Yeah, okay, this is going to be fairly straightforward. So the first thing we need to do is solder the switch, the wire, the, the plug to the switch. All right, so let's pop that. Oh, this is one of those awful cheap steel wires. One of these days I'll figure out this camera situation. I'll actually be able to see what I'm doing and you'll be able to see what I'm doing as well. <laughs> but not today, apparently. Bit of soldering paste. Oh, 
Cool. Have I just melted that switch? I think I've just melted that switch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're off to a roaring start here, aren't we? Oh dear. Never mind. This is why I buy these things in big bags. Alright. Let's try that again without the oops. That's better. Right, now we want this wire, which is a nice copper wire. Soldering paste. Like that. Okay, right. This is all going swimmingly so far. So now we need to that wants to be about that long. Little bits of wire like this, I keep them in a bag because sometimes you need just a little tiny bit of wire for something and it saves cutting another bit off. So Never throw anything away if you can avoid it. Because you can guarantee the minute you throw it away, it'll be the minute that you need it. Right. So that goes through there. Like that. So, and then we want this negative, oh this wire is awful, that goes through the negative, except it doesn't because the wires won't twist because it's cheap nasty wire. that and now let me sort this battery out I think I'm gonna take this wire off of here and um, put some new on it because this is very th I mean it's plenty powerful enough for man enough for what we want it to do but it's as easy just to change it in the end of this. Oh, this should be good for a laugh. easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> right, so that's that one. And like that. Now, let's get this back in.
snip that off about there. Do the same with this bit, because they want to be roughly the same length. Strip those. Right, and this is where we need to be careful because we do not want to touch these live wires together. So, I'm going to put that over there because I want to give that as much length as possible for when it goes back into the diorama. Soldering paste. I'm sure you've all got the idea by now. And same with the negative. And there we go. Right, so now we've got to attach this all to here. And I think the easiest way to do that is some double-sided tape. These ones, to be precise, these came from the pound shop. And very useful they have been too. Right, so. We'll stick one on the back of here. Oh, get off. Right, and we want to put that around about there, like so. And then we'll put one over this side for the battery. So these sticky, but they're not the greatest things in the world, but they'll do for this. I say it's only to, it's not like it's going anywhere, it's just going to be sitting on a shelf, so it's just to stop it rattling around. And then we'll stick that on like that, you see. And there we go. Now let's stick a USB cable in here and just make sure that everything works. Well, the charging lights come on, which is always a good thing. So we'll give that a minute and then we'll put it all back together. Right, well, the charging light has just turned blue, so the battery's fully charged. So we'll pop that out. And now we can give it a quick test to make sure it works. So let's make sure the switch is off, which it is. And, oh, this is really awkward to get under the camera. Uh, so now that goes in there. And when I flick the switch, hopefully we should have lights. Yay. And then this. Actually, it, what it kind of does, it's, re it's really difficult to tell, but if you, if you watch the lights carefully, they get slightly dimmer. So this is not an on-off switch. This basically controls the brightness. It's the switch on the back here that actually controls the lights on and off, which personally I think is a really bad idea because if you've got this in a bookcase surrounded by books, it means to turn it on and off, you have to take it out of the, case, out of the bookcase, which seems a bit pointless really i mean why not just put another switch at the front here to turn it on and off but you know what well, anyway that's beside the point um so let's shut that off and now we can try and put this all back together again <laughs> what could possibly go wrong oh oh get off right so that goes through there 
that goes through there like that and that will hopefully close right so what we also need to do is put the back back if that makes sense I'm just terrified of busting these tabs off. Right, that goes like that. Right, and then the top goes on. That's the bottom. That's the top. One of the things I noticed when I took this off. It's got this big burn on it. And I was thinking, what on earth has caused that? But I think it was just where they cut it with a laser. This is probably where they started and finished the cut. And it, you know, just, it scorched it. But, you know, whatever. So, right, let's pop this back in here. I'll do it like this just so you can see what I'm doing. But it basically just drops into these slots. And then you just try and wedge it in oh oh easier said than done oh that's it there we go right get in there you i'll say it's a nice tight fit it, it goes together well uh, now we'll put the bottom on and this has um, these slots here which pick up these tabs on the bottom of the circuit board to hold it in place or, you know to stop it from um, flexing which makes this one slightly more awkward to get on but as always we will do what we can Ugh. Come on. Oh, that does not want to go in that top slot. Is there a... Oh, that's because there's a bit of loose plastic on it, that's why. Oh, just talk about yourselves for a minute. It's one of the, I think one of those is longer than the other. Maybe that's why it won't go on. <laughs> it goes on one way. That's really helpful. Thanks for that. All right. There we go. That's better. Now it goes. Now we're getting somewhere. That's it. That's, there we go. That's more like it. Right, now, why don't that close? Oh, that's useful. <laughs> the battery is, I don't know if you can see in there, possibly not. Um, but the battery is hitting the end of that. It's time for a bit of brute force and ignorance. You knew that was coming, didn't you? <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these cutters and I'm just going to cut a piece off of this because that does not need to be all the way out there anymore. Oh, like that. Now it shuts fine. <laughs> right, drop that down. Oh, is that still catching? I think it wants a bit more taken off. Oh. Right, there we go. Uh, and then this bit needs to go back on the front. Like that. 
and I think we can wrap this thing up now. And here is our finished article. Um, as I say, a fairly simple little job, just a quickie. Stop laughing at the back. Um, it's a decent little model. Uh, you know, if those of you that watch live stream, it, it went together very well. Um, it was just let down by some shoddy electronics, which we have now fixed. So, um, yes, this can now take its place on my daughter's shelf somewhere, uh, along with a plethora of cats. She'll like that. Um, there's quite a lot of cats in there, actually. <laughs> There's, uh, what is there, one, two, three, four, uh, there's six, seven, there's one there at the back. Um, <laughs> yeah, so as I say, it's a it's a perfectly fine model, um, just let down by a, a bad battery box. Um, but yes, as I said before, it's, it's one of these things I film what I'm working on and this is what I was working on. So hopefully you've all, you know, enjoyed it, maybe learnt something from it. Um hopefully normal service will be resumed soon i've got some good ideas for things coming up i've got a nice little diorama plan that i've been frantically 3d printing things for so <laughs> you've got that to look forward to um, but in the meantime i'd like to take a moment and thank my top tier patrons uh, howard amy and anonymous tosh for their continued support and uh, all of my other patrons and channel members and all you lovely people at home uh, it's all very much appreciated and i will see you on the next video thanks very much for watching cheers bye